we've seen this mega trend, right, of, of, of uh, consolidate uh, your security vendors. And we're seeing that activity in the market as well. Um, the most recent uh, notable one is HPE and, and Juniper, but certainly you see this happening specifically in the security space, the most notable around Palo Alto. Um, do you think that this is, this is a kind of a singular blip, this, this, this notion of uh, some of the struggle that Palo Alto is reporting, or do you think fundamentally it's just endemic of, of what real life is like? Yeah, I, I think it's more of the latter. It's what real life is like. I, I think, um, look, this concept of having a single vendor for whatever is this nice romantic view of the world. But think of all the vendors all the way back to the invention of IT <laughs> that have tried to create a single platform for whatever, right? Dell never really managed to sell servers and storage together. Cisco has you know, tried and tried and tried to sell routers and switches and Wi-Fi and other things together, but that's not really ever manifested itself. There's a lot of, in fact, if it did, we wouldn't know Aruba and companies like that, right? Um, and so the, the concept of this platform is ideally, in a perfect world, you'd have that. But especially in security, it's impossible for a big company like Palo Alto or to, to become best of breed everywhere at all moments in time. And those small variances in expertise and, and, and product can have big implications on threat protection. And so I think we'll see the pendulum continue to swing back and forth where we may be moving out of the consolidation phase, you know, back to best of breed, but we'll get back there. And uh, uh, because there is no perfect answer, mm -hmm. that's the thing. And mm -hmm. I think from, a, from an enterprise perspective, uh, that's why I think partnering is important because you can then create the best of both worlds.